so we got back from our trip uh, to the Mother Earth Fair. Um, I still got a couple videos that are done. I'm just waiting to upload them. Um, right now what I'm doing is I'm building a fence uh, with these T-posts and this like cattle fencing, um, which is going to be an extended chicken run off the main chicken run. The way I designed this, it's got two doors. One door on this side, one door on the other side for us to get in and clean out the, the chicken run and everything. Um, this will open up into the extended chicken run. Uh, but what I decided to do was, um, since this is going to be attached to the, the body of the chicken run, um, the only way to get in is a doorway that I'm putting on the other side. Um, I wanted to, to be able to let the chickens out so that way I can get in the chicken run without them being under my feet and everything. And what I decided to do, using a series of these eye hooks and some paracord, um, right now I've just got a screw down here, but eventually I'm going to put a hook. When you pull on the paracord, you can hook it down here, and it actually raises the, the little door inside the big door. I've already stained um, this piece right here for the door, this backing, and then the actual door itself has been stained. I'm going to be taking these trim pieces off and painting them green. That way it kind of matches the way that we did the door to the chicken coop. But today I'm going to try to finish um, a good section of this fencing. And then we've got a couple other projects that we're working on as well. Another project that I started was um, doing the fencing to the garden. Uh, I had a pretty decent garden going, and I guess rabbits, um, you know, we got a lot of deer in this area, squirrels. They came in and they started to kind of to destroy my garden. They pulled a lot of the plants out, um, they killed a lot of things. So I'm going to fence this whole thing in using these posts, put a door in the front, door in the back, um, and I'm going to use the similar kind of fencing that I'm using for the chicken run, that cattle fencing or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, I've already got the corner posts in, and uh, just got to get the rest of them in. I don't have a um, an electric or a gas post hole digger, so I'm doing all this by hand. Another thing we're trying to do to try to keep um, predators out is once we get the, the fencing done, I still have to attach it three points on each of these T-posts. Right now it's just attached one. But we're going to be putting these landscape timbers down and actually putting them in the ground with some 12-inch nails that we got and then I'll be attaching it down at the bottom and then area any areas that aren't level where there's going to be any gap I'm going to get some nice sized rocks and put them um, underneath the landscape timber and on the inside which will help um, this this run is really only going to be used for when we're at home uh, the regular chicken run they'll have access to every single day
fencing. And I got um, about half of it done, so I'll need to get another roll. I'm going to build a bridge out in the backwoods. We got a trail system back there, and one of our trails goes over a uh, crosses a natural spring. So if I did the math right, I need 42 2x4s to do the length of the bridge, and I'll put two on either end to cap off the underside of it. And then I'll do two cinder blocks on either side for either each post to kind of give it a little lift up off the ground. I'm fortunate because um, a friend of mine from work gave me these uh, two by sixes because he was tearing down a deck so I got these for free and all these two by fours I got for free too uh, well I got them in a trade I had a, an old Volkswagen um, that needed more more work than I was willing to do I had owned it for about 15 years and I gave it to um, a friend of the family and he kind of gifted us back a, a camper and a huge pallet full of wood and he's filled the pallet twice um, since the initial trade so I'm gonna go ahead and slap this guy together and this is um this is a natural stream back here it actually goes down to the other side of the property where dad and I built that 32 foot long um, bridge so let me see. one extra board with me just in case and it was actually too short but I was left over with one extra board so I actually did the math right <sighs> so the reason I put this end piece on this little cap is because I'm eventually going to build a ramp up to it so when we ride the mini bike back here it's just you know seamless ride over all the bridges and everything so there you go The hardest part, honestly, was carrying all the wood out here. Um, I think I did like five trips. So, but uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good. Nice and solid. And you can't beat it. I, I pay about three dollars a pound for screws um, at this local hardware store that I have, and I probably used about a pound and a half worth of screws. So, all in all, it cost me about four dollars and fifty cents, um, and just you know, a couple hours worth of work. 
Well, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I really enjoyed doing these kind of videos, updates on the house, little projects we're doing around the homestead, kind of building it out. Um, <clears throat> I haven't uh, started working on the fence to the garden yet, but I, I may actually call it a day and um, take the motorcycle out and do some camping. So the weather's still nice. I still got a couple days left of vacation, but appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. Um, there's a bunch of other videos that you can click on and watch. So hit that subscribe button. All right, take it easy, guys.